Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. All right, today the officially first full day of summer, and it's a nice one out there. A very nice one that sends things out to over to Bob Adore for a look at what we can expect. Hi, Bob. Well, hi. Well, you know, we've got great weather throughout the state. Cloud coverage, but no matter where you go, where you saw Yellowstone opening up, you've got great nature everywhere you look. From, from our peak there at Snow Basin to there at uh, the Red Rocks there at St. George. Seen a lot of cloud coverage, but it's still nice warm. It's doing pretty well. That heat is building as we look at our headlines there. See that hill heat rising back up? Well, be back in the hundreds in southern Utah here pretty soon, but we do have to deal with those smoky skies. That is a problem. The monsoon moisture, which is a fun phrase to say, it uh, is making things a little wet, which we need, but it is bringing some thunderstorm chances, so something we have to watch out for. There's a lot going on, so let's kind of go through this. Right now, if you're watching through this, you see the storms that we've got going along that western part of the state, but it's that east. you got to watch that. Look at this. We've got thunder strikes going on. Big ones just right there uh, near just a little bit to the west of Blanding, so please be careful. If you're out there and you're hearing that thunder, please go inside because as much as we like this moisture, we don't want anyone hurt. But we are getting a good moisture, excessive uh, rainfall forecast. Any rain that we get in that area is going to be great. But I want to point out this. The, uh, the Grand Junction radar is down right now. Now why that's really important is because if you're out hiking in this area, say you're in Moab and you're thinking you're going to rely on that radar to help show you when a flash flood might come, well, it's not going to be there for you. So you're going to have to just watch for yourself and be very careful because we do have possible flash flood warnings throughout or potential throughout most of our uh, national parks. So be ready. You don't want to be caught in that. Now this future forecast, you can see there's that rain going on in the eastern part, but you can start going to see as we get Thursday, boom, it's going to start to scatter across most of the state. A lot of the state has got a chance for scattered showers. We're going to have thunder showers. We're going to have a lot. So you've got to be very careful with what you're going on because it's, it's that scattered. We can't just say it's all going to sit right here. It's going to be all over the place. And with that, we've got this fire outlook because this brown area going all up and down that I-15 corridor, that is dry thunderstorm. So what that means is it doesn't get the rain, which is why it's dry, but it still has the lightning, which is why it's a fire outlook. So you have to watch out, be very careful with that. We also have our thunderstorm outlook that's going through today, but here's what's going on tomorrow. If we increase that more, I showed you how the high pressure and low pressure are kind of doing this thing and squirting the uh, the uh, monsoon moisture coming up, you're seeing that right there. It's going to go up into Salt Lake City, and you can start to see that's where we've got some bad thunderstorm warnings that we're going to have to watch out for. The entire state is in a thunderstorm outlook tomorrow, so please watch out. Temperature-wise, though, doing pretty good. We're in the 80s, 90s through parts of the state, a couple 70s, looking very nice, very summer-like. And tonight, only going to dip down to the 50s and 60s for our lows through most of the state, then rising up into the 90s and seeing our way almost near 100 as we get through a lot of the state. St. George, we expand that out. You can see there are going to be 90 those isolated chances of showers coming, but then boom, look at that. They're bouncing back up Sunday. Monday, they'll be back in the hundreds where it's going to be, well, what you expect there. Wasatch Front, we've got four days where we've got some chances of thunderstorms, so we've got to really keep an eye on that. We could use that moisture, so we're hoping for it, but then it's going to calm down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. going to be great, so it's going to be beautiful. Just keep your eyes to the skies. Back to you guys. All right, Bob, appreciate it. Thanks so much.